Hey guys, this is Ron Moore, and this is the state of the ECW address. No, not really, but the state of the Ron Moore and SC2K YouTube channels. As very few of you know, mainly the inner circle of SC2K and those that know me best on YouTube, the SC2K channel has received two copyright strikes lately. Now you might think, what? Why? What the heck? Well, it's no secret that I do use other people's gameplay footage on YouTube in my Let's Play videos or vlogs when I want to talk about stuff like I'm doing right now. Now, as you can see, I'm not using any gameplay footage at all, and it's not necessarily because I'm afraid of a copyright strike, but I just want to be pretty serious about this video. I know I could record my own footage on ST2K and the Rombor channel for gameplay footage, to play in the background of this video here but I said you know let's just do this do it live so to speak do it recorded actually but um, yeah and World of Long Plays doesn't really care that you use their footage as long as you give credit in the description box and in the video which is pretty much what I've always done every time I used someone else's footage now for those of you who are, never knew I did this and you might think well Ronnie why didn't you use your own footage the reason why is because sometimes it's more efficient to use footage of certain games that is uploaded already onto YouTube rather than trying to record the game myself because I may not can get an emulator to work right on my computer. I may not have a capture card to record off of an actual console. And so I will use someone's footage on YouTube, someone's gameplay footage with no commentary on it, and give them credit in the description box or sometimes flat out say in the video this is not me playing it's all part of the LP all part of the illusion all for, all for fun well someone was not happy with the fact that I used their Ocarina of Time LP on the SC2K channel filed copyright claims on parts 1 and 2 of the LP and as a result both of those videos have been taken down and I have two strikes on the ST2K channel. Now, I have emailed the claimant and requested that he lift the claim, retract the claim, and I explained to him why I took his footage, and I did give him credit in the description box if he would reconsider and retract the claim. It's been two days, and I have not heard anything from this guy. However, that's fine. If he doesn't want to retract the claim, I'm going to let it go, let it be. If he does write me back and we talk, then that may be another story. We'll see where that goes. That part is not so much a big deal. What really bothers me is the fact that I cannot even file a counterclaim on this person because in order to do that, I would have to provide this person with my personal details in order to settle this quote-unquote legal dispute. I'm not about to provide a random person on YouTube my personal details like my mailing address my phone number and all that stuff because who knows what this person would do with my private information I can't believe YouTube does this so it's better for me to not file a counterclaim and just let it go if it doesn't get retracted fine we'll start a new LP use some world of long play footage and give them credit and then we'll get started with the LP again and of course I would like to use my own footage but I can't always do that. But after dealing with this, and after I finished the Milk Your Solid LP and Ocarina of Time LP, yeah, I'm pretty much not even going to use World of Long Plays footage anymore just to try to avoid all this. And But what gets me real concerned is that since 2016, off and on for certain videos, certain playthroughs, etc., I have used other people's footage, a lot of it from World of Long Plays, gave them credit, some not from World of Long Plays, and so far no one has said anything or filed a copyright claim. And maybe they haven't noticed they used their footage, but I always gave them credit in the description box. Because I do believe I should give credit because it's not my game play. Even though they also don't own the copyrights to that video game footage, because it belongs to the respective company. In this case, Ocarina of Time is owned by who? Nintendo. So Nintendo really is the only company or only person or persons 
that should have the right to file a copyright claim on my Ocarina of Time video. But they usually just third-party videos, which means they take the ad revenue, not so much file a copyright claim causing you to get a strike. Three strikes and you're out and your account is terminated, and I think it's real hard to get your account back. I am at two strikes right now on the SC2K channel, zero strikes on the Rommor channel. Now, that could change if more people realize, oh, you're using my footage, I didn't give you permission, even though I shouldn't have to have permission from them because it is their gameplay, but they still don't own the quote-unquote copyrights to the gameplay footage, so to speak. It still belongs to the respective game companies. I, um, what's concerning me is that if I get three strikes on the Rom War channel or SC2K channel because of these reasons and I can't file a counterclaim unless I provide personal details about me, um, yeah, my channels could be deleted soon, if not soon, then sometime down the road. Now, strikes, each strike does go away after three months. But I'm not about to go back and delete all the LPs and stuff that I did just to avoid being taken down. If I go down, if the SC2K goes down, so be it. We had a great run. We had a great 10 years. Fine, let it go. And if I can't do anything about it, then so be it. I don't want these channels to go down. And I don't want to go out like that due to BS reasons and YouTubers being able to flag anybody's video for whatever reason and it's hard to file a counterclaim. I don't know what's changed since, since 2015, but I remember my low budget review of WrestleMania for NES being copyright claimed, I think, or taken down. I quickly filed a counterclaim and boom, it was back up. This time, I have to provide my address and phone number to the claimant. I'm not going to do that. If it was a company, fine, maybe. But to provide my personal information to some random YouTuber that could do whatever they want with my private information, I don't trust that. That's ridiculous. I don't trust that. What happens when you get into a wreck? You exchange information with each other. Insurance information, address, phone number, whatever. Why can't this work both ways? Why can't I get this person's personal information? The only thing I got of this person was their email address. I did email them, and I respectfully explained why I did what I did and said, look, I give you credit for it. Could you please retract this claim? And we would continue to give you credit for the LP, for the footage. So it's all a bunch of copyright BS. Well, what a surprise. You two BSing with people. So, I, and I said this in my 10th anniversary live stream on the Ron Moore channel back in September 2017. The only thing sure about Ron Moore is that nothing's for sure. And that meant I didn't know what I was going to do after that. And um, so in this case right now, with this situation, I hope I don't get shut down. I hope the SC2K don't get closed down. But uh, if worst case scenario... I'll just start over again from scratch, make a new ROM War channel, new SC2K channel, try to re-upload whatever I can that's, that I have on my computer or whatnot. I don't have every single video that I've ever done archived. I just can't do that. I hear Twitch. I mean, it's possible they may go down the YouTube avenue, maybe become a full-fledged video sharing site. But right now, there's nowhere else to go. Not even Twitch, not even Mixer, because I, I like to do videos, not just live streams. And I want my live streams and videos to be archived on websites like YouTube permanently, not just for two weeks. So Twitch and Mixer, they only archive your live streams for a couple of weeks. I think that's dumb. Why not archive everything forever like YouTube does? But anyway, that is the state of the union address or whatever you want to call this video regarding the Rombor and S2K channels. It's pretty sad when you can just uh, file a copyright claim like this when you don't even really own the rights to that, but you claim you do. It may be their gameplay footage, but there's no commentary over it. It's just gameplay footage. Nintendo owned the, in this case, Nintendo owns the rights to Ocarina of Time. So whoever flagged my video uh, because I took their gameplay footage, they should be flattered that I took it, number one. Number two, they should be flattered that I gave them credit in the description box. I'm using their footage for commentary purposes 
just to do a fun let's play. So this it, it falls under fair use. If someone took my footage, my raw gameplay footage, and gave me credit for it, I would be fine with that. That would be freaking awesome. Plus, it helps their channels get get noticed more. Not that this person needed a plug from me, but just saying, man, that would really make me feel good if someone plugged my channel, my video, and said, hey, this footage is actually by Rumboard. Check out the link in the description below. But this person apparently didn't like that. And uh, I know should also mention, I got an email today on the Rumboard channel saying that the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Part 2, the claim has been lifted. But that was weird. It was the claim on the unlisted video that we use for commentary purposes, not on one of the ST2K public videos. So that was weird. Um, so that's, that's what happened to the Ocarina of Time LP. Someone was asking about it, and I told them what happened. Well, that's what's been going on. And this is just a video explaining everything in case the Rom War channel gets shut down, in case the SC2K channel gets shut down, and if I were to stop doing videos all of a sudden, that's one thing, that's fine. But to go out like this because of all the BS, it, I refuse to really go out like that. So if I were to go out and my channels get terminated, I'll, st I'll, I'll start from scratch again. And there is talk of, well, if you start from scratch, guess what? They'll delete your the new channel too, which I think is freaking extreme. They shouldn't do that unless you mess up and get three strikes on there but it's pretty sad that this has kind of always been the case anybody can flag a video and you can get copyright strike there's horrible content on YouTube that still stands somehow and people upload footage all the time that is not theirs and it's still around for years and I just don't get it I really don't get it um, all I did was take someone's gameplay footage but still gave them credit for it and used it for commentary purposes that's fair use Red Supre has done it for years. I don't know how they got around all that. But for some reason now, in order for me to file a counterclaim on this, I have to give my personal information. I don't feel comfortable doing that. Because what this person gets butthurt at me and starts prank calling me and sending me prank text messages or starts, uh, he finds out my personal address and then blasts it on social media or whatever. <clears throat> that, that's I can't believe YouTube is taking this route. So that's why part of me wants to stop doing videos. But at the same time, to go out like this, I refuse to do that. So I'm gonna, if I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go out with a blaze of glory. And uh, if I if I do go out for good for whatever reason, I decide, yeah, you know what, I'm done. I'm not even motivated anymore. We had a great run. It was 10 years, uh, and I mean, man, you know, hey, we all had fun. So I mean, if that's the end, then that's the end. Um, and we had a great time, and so it wasn't for nothing. I just really don't want the channels to be deleted because of historical purposes but whatever it is what it is we had fun and worst case scenario i could start over but if twitch becomes the true alternative then i'm definitely going over there there's no better alternative than youtube and uh i forgot the youtube user's name but someone got tipster did a video recently i'll put the link in the description box unless i forget Tipster did a video recently that a big YouTuber who does a lot of comedy stuff, edgy comedy stuff, got terminated falsely. Some videos were flagged for the wrong reasons, and YouTube basically said, well, too bad, we're not going to do anything. Um, so YouTube is definitely not the same. I mean, I know it's gotten pretty much worse and worse over the years, but this video is just to explain what's been going on lately with copyright strikes and copyright BS I've had to deal with. So if the channels were to disappear, especially SC2K, you'll know exactly what happened. And that don't mean that that does not necessarily mean that's the end of me. But don't be surprised if my channels are gone. You wake up tomorrow, the channels are gone, or I wake up and I notice the channels are gone and I can't do nothing about it except start a new channel or whatever. So um a lot of you guys know where to find me on Facebook on the Ron Moore and SC2K Facebook pages, also on the Ron Moore and SC2K Twitter pages. So if for some reason the YouTube channels were to get deleted sometime soon, you guys know where to find me. Um, so yeah, that's just to let everybody know uh, what's been going on lately. I wasn't going to do a video about this so much, but I decided to go ahead and at least talk about it uh, without mentioning the YouTube user's name that did flag me because... There's still hope that he'll be civil and retract the claims and then I can still use his footage and, 
even though I shouldn't really have permission because it's fair use, he'll give me his permission and I'll still plug his channel in the description box like I've always done. So, yeah. Um, and if something further develops with this person that flagged my videos, then I will let you guys know with another video. But uh, right now, I'm just going to let that go and say, well, hey, you know, it was a great run. And uh, worst case scenario, I'll come back and to start from scratch again. So that is it, guys. I'm out of here. Thank you very much for listening. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care.